Hey, hey, welcome back to Financial Intelligence TV. This is MK, a professional trader with over 20 years of experience. Google versus NVIDIA, who's winning? Let's jump straight in. Google stock is flying, whereas NVIDIA has done nothing at all. Just in the last two months, Google's share prices are up by 34%, and NVIDIA is just flat. So what's going on? Let's try and break this down in super simple terms. Recently, Google launched the seventh generation of TPUs, or Tensor Processing Units. These chips are so powerful that they let the customers run the biggest and the most powerful AI models ever built. And Gemini 3, Google's latest AI model. Google says Gemini 3 gives smarter answers and needs less prompting. All of this has got investors really, really excited. So what is a TPU? A TPU or a tensor processing unit is a special chip designed by Google to do one job only, and that is matrix math. So matrix math is the math that all AI models use. So matrix math is simply big table of numbers being added or multiplied together to find patterns. This is literally how AI thinks. So how are these different from NVIDIA's GPUs? NVIDIA's GPUs or graphic processing units were initially made for video games, but now they're used for AI, science, 3D movies, crypto mining, basically everything. NVIDIA GPUs are the industry standard for AI today. So what's the difference between a TPU and a GPU? A TPU is like a one-skill champion. Think of it like a kid who's really, really amazing at one thing. Matrix math. Super fast and super focused. Whereas a GPU is like a kid who can do everything. Games, art, homework, movies, AI. You name it, a GPU can do it. Here's a simple analogy. A GPU is like a laptop. You can do anything on it. Whereas a TPU is like a calculator. It's super fast at math, but only math. Now let's talk money. This is why Google is winning. Training AI models is expensive. To run GPUs, it costs roughly between two to four dollars an hour. Whereas to use a TPU, it costs between one to two dollars an hour. TPUs are 40 to 60% cheaper to run big AI tasks than GPUs. They use less electricity, produce less heat, need fewer machines, and finish training faster. For gigantic AI tasks, TPUs are sometimes 2x cheaper than GPUs. That's a massive savings. Hence, a lot of companies are paying attention to Google now. Meta is reportedly looking to use TPUs in their data centers. And Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, after using Gemini 3, said he's never going back to ChatGPT. This is getting investors really excited. That's why the Google share price is going up. So who's winning right now? Well, Google is definitely having a moment. Their AI chips and AI models are impressing the world. But NVIDIA still controls 90% of the GPU market. They are the king of GPUs at the moment. So who's the winner? Well, Google for now, but NVIDIA is still the long-term leader. Let's see if Google can maintain this lead. Well, that's it from me today. Thank you for investing your time. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.